Yo, 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 what's happening, my people? It's your boy, Biba King of the Avid Collectibles and more, and Collectors and Nostalgic Universe. Today, I have the official Kickstarter Spawn Six Pack Trilogy unboxing. And all the awesome goods you see in the background belong to my son. And yes, we do get down playing with all these toys, especially the basketball hoop. Biscuits! But anyway, let's get to opening this bad boy. All right, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I went all out on this Kickstarter. It was probably one of the first Kickstarters I ever backed. Uh, it was a very expensive Kickstarter, I'll tell you that right now, because this one cost me over $600. And that is a lot of money to put out at one time for a product, especially that you don't get right away. So, all right, so they got these in here individually boxed, two separate boxes. So, we are going to set this sideways and pull them out if I can. Okay. Now I got two of these, so I got two of the Trilogy six packs, or three packs I should say. So I got one for myself, and I bought one to invest with. So, I know there are going to be people contacting me about the one I have for sale, but I do not know what I'm selling it for right now, so for now you're just going to have to be patient until I figure out what I'm going to do with it, but I will share the one I'm keeping for myself with you guys now. Uh, I've never really got to do an unboxing video before. Uh, so this is going to be pretty cool. Holy crap, it's in another box. Just like one of those things you see on those cartoons. And it's in another box. Okay. There's three separate boxes in here. This is where it would be handy to be like Goro and have four arms. But unfortunately, I'm not Goro, so I only got two arms to do all this. So, I'm still using my little handy dandy box cutter from back when I used to work at JJ Classes in Clinton. I've had this for a very long time early 2000s. That's what we used to cut the flash off of the plastic uh, garage door openers we used to make there. I don't miss that job one bit. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Okay. It's not very easy to get any of these out of these boxes. They're very snug in each box. All right, so. There's the packaging. Let's get closer here for you. You have to forgive my camera skills. It's just me here, so I don't have nobody to do my camera for me. The box is a slip cover. So let's make sure we got it the right way here. I'm not sure which way it goes, honestly. So we go like this. Take the slip cover off. Yeah, like that. That's nice. And then it's got a little tab here. Uh-oh, stuff's falling out. So we got the Spawn Masterworks paperwork there. I'm not sure what that's all about. I have to read that later. I got our Certificate of Authenticity, which is awesome. It took me forever to be able to pronounce the word authenticity, too. It was a very hard word for me to pronounce back in the day. Oh, so this tells you what the, um, the comparison checklist is. So you got the... You know, original Spawn 1994 remastered 2021 Spawn. So it gives you the breakdown of the different the differences between the old school version and the newer version. So there's that and that. And then, let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. So, here we go. There's no big glare right now, but we'll take, we know, I'll get this out of here so you guys can check it out. 
So that's what it looks like before I take it out. Now I'm going to be very careful taking this out of here because I don't want to damage anything. I don't know if this just comes straight out or what. Okay, so we have... So it's got a little stand, Todd McFarlane, awesome, the Todd Father as they call him. Then we have his weapon, alright, we have some necroplasm that you can attach to one of his hands. We have a necroplasmic knife. We have an alternate head. Oh my god, check that out, guys. Look at that detail. That is awesome. Oh, I need to cut my fingernails down a color at Mercy. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else here. Oh, oh, check this out. Underneath the uh, Todd McFarlane thing was a his sword. Check that bad boy out. It's nice. Okay. And let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Looks like that's all of the accessories he comes with. So, I'm going to throw all these pieces back in here because I don't want to mess nothing up. So, knife back in there, necroplasm, and weapon. Alright, now, here we go. Let's get a close up view. Maybe if I turn off the light on this ring thing, it might be a little better. Here we go. There's still some glare. Um, pretty cool figure. Again, sorry about the, uh, you know, uh, not quality camera skills I have here. But uh, you know, you gotta do. You gotta start out somewhere. So there it is. If you can see it, I know there's a glare of my phone on there. That sucks. I wish I was able to showcase this better for you guys. But I can't. But it's a really cool figure. Uh, there's nothing on the back, unfortunately. But, you know, the figure itself is really awesome. I am not going to open this. So, if you wanted me to open it, it's not going to happen. I'm an inbox collector. And I only uh, display things that are open when I find them open. And especially for what I paid for these, there's no way I'm going to open none of these. So, that's the first version. We're going to put this back in the box real fast and get to the other two variations. And now that I know how they come out, it should be a lot easier for me to get these next ones out. All right. Let's get this all back how it goes. Slip cover. See what's in the swamp. Now we were supposed to get um, stretch goals, which were like extra accessories and things like that. So I'm not seeing nothing extra in the box anywhere. So I'm hoping it's in one of these or if it's something that they send to us later on, I don't know. But to me, it seems like. They should have been with these when we got them, but it doesn't look like it. And they just made these perfect to fit in these boxes. It's crazy. Alright. Second one's got the green packaging. It's got the nice little foil looking names like some of the comic books used to back in the 90s and 2000s. Put this paper out the way. Flap out the way. Slip cover. All right. Oh, 
Also, they each come with their little paperwork. That's cool. This is the Hamburger Head version. Cool. So this is another retooled one he did from back in the day. Because when he first released them, he had the regular version of Spawn. And then he had, uh, later on, he had the little Hamburger Hamburger Head Spawn that came out. Which had Spawn's face all messed up from, I believe, when he fought Batman. So he's got his face all stitched up there, which I know you can't really see. I'll try to get as close as I can. This freaking phone sucks. It doesn't even let me do reverse camera. So if you're wondering why I haven't done reverse camera, that's why. This phone is really a piece of crap. And again, I apologize about the glare, but this is an awesome figure. I'll see if I get a little closer to where you can see the head. Uh... Wow, that phone sucks. But anyway, there's Hamburger Head Spawn. And he came with a nice gun. Let me turn this light back on. Might make it a little better to see. There we go. There's the gun. He also came with... He came with the little knife as well. And he came with his own little version of Necroplasm for his hand. Cool. And he has an alternate Al Simmons head. Alright, so there's that one. I don't know if there's anything else under here. Let me check. Might be. Nope. Not underneath that one. So let me see if it looks a little better with the light on. Maybe you can see a little better. Doesn't look like you can. I'll take separate pictures and post them in another post you guys can see. And this is really sucks that the, the camera on this phone is that damn terrible. Yeah, you would think a Verizon phone would be a lot better than this, but this one isn't. This one's a really a piece of crap. I really wish I would have had a better camera to do this video with. Alright, we'll get this guy all sealed up. Slip cover back on. I'm going to have to make sure I put that certificate back in the other one. I didn't realize they were each going to have their own little paperwork and certificate of authenticity. So let me make sure I set this on top of this other box. Pull out my old school j, &J plastics. Pretty nice. And I'll get the last one opened up for you guys. And those of you who actually watched through the whole video, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, especially you people on Instagram. I really want to shout out you people on Instagram because I have been doing this for a long time. Uh, the collectible thing, selling in flea markets and stuff like that, way before social media platforms, let me tell you. Back then, people really had no choice but to go to collectible stores or flea markets to find collectibles. And, uh, you know, we used to have really good crowds of people. We used to have really awesome sales. But nowadays with, uh, you know, social media and ordering online, the ease of ordering online, uh, people hardly come out to collectible stores anymore. But I kind of drifted off from what I was originally trying to say. But, uh, you know, I post a lot of places with what I sell, um, Facebook, I do it on my personal page, my store's Facebook page, I have a collectible Facebook page for the store, I do Facebook Marketplace, I do OfferUp, I do Craigslist, I do Google My Business, I mean, I, I list everywhere, but you people on Instagram, even from the get-go when I got on Instagram, you guys are awesome, because you guys have always liked Anything I post, you guys have followed me from the beginning. The same with me. You know you guys follow me. I follow you back. Uh, you guys are the biggest supportive group of people I have ever seen. It's crazy the, dif the difference between Instagram and Facebook and all the other platforms. You know, I've tried, um, I've tried Twitter before. I didn't have no luck with Twitter. I tried, uh, what's that other one called? The, um, crap. Snapchat. Oh, God. That didn't do nothing for me either. 
So I got rid of the Snapchat, I got rid of the Twitter, and I stuck mainly with the Facebook and the, the Instagram. Alright, so, so this must be like the prototype version. So we got unpainted sword. This is cool. Unpainted weapon. Steel necroplasm, necroplasm knife. Was there anything under this? I can't remember. Not in this one. And then we have unpainted head, which is cool. This is really awesome. Man, I can't get over them fingernails. I gotta cut them freaking talons off. Look like a damn eagle or something. Alright, I'm going to turn the light off on this one. Hopefully it will show up a little better. But then my damn phone is going to show through the freaking reflection. Alright, so here is the unpainted one. This is all in gray. And has the standard head on it too. It doesn't have the hamburger head. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, but back to what I was saying... Uh, I really appreciate you people on Instagram. Uh, same stuff I post on Facebook, I post on Instagram. Right from the Ripple Instagram, I will get a, you know all kinds of likes. It's ridiculous the amount of likes I get on Instagram. Uh, people commenting, actually interacting with me. And that really means a lot to me because I'm not knocking Facebook by any means, but Facebook does not operate nowhere near like Instagram does. There's very few people who will, you know, click like, who will share a post, who will comment, and who share the same passion for things the way you guys do on Instagram. So, you guys all do your damn thing on Instagram, and, you know, I appreciate you guys a lot, because you guys are so supportive, and just seeing how you guys are with one another, it just makes me want to just keep doing better. And then another cool thing is... As you know, I'll be following somebody on Instagram that started following me or vice versa. And then next thing you know, I'm getting more uh, followers. And then, you know, you're, you can always see if there's somebody else that you follow that somebody else follows you, fo follows as well. Or you know what I'm trying to say. But it's always cool to see, you know, like like one of the people I follow, Swamp, Swamp, uh, uh, crap, my main, Swamp Ninja Comics. I probably said that wrong. Uh, but, you know, I see her a lot on a lot of other people who I follow. Photo Adventurer. Um, my mom, of course, my mom would go blank when I'm doing the video like this. That's that's just great. Um, Shinron. Uh, a lot of people. I can't remember nobody right now. You got to forgive me. But it's just cool to see the same people who follow you on somebody else's you follow's uh, page as well. So you guys just keep on doing your damn thing on Instagram. Hopefully one day we can get the Facebook people to be like that. I always kind of rub it in the Facebook people's face that Instagram people are more supportive. And, you know, they do actually press like and share and all that. So, you know, we just got to be more supportive of each other. And, you know, a lot of people say they want to see you do good, but they really don't want to see you good. A lot of people hate on you because they don't have the motivation, the ambition, and drive, and determination you do. But... That's on them. But we let them hate, and we keep doing what we do, because that's what we do. We're survivors. Uh, we hustle, and then we hustle some more. All you can do is keep hustling, keep keep chasing your dreams. Don't let nobody stop your dreams. Don't let nobody ever tell you you can't do anything. You can do anything you want to do, as long as you put your mind to it, as long as you never give up, and it doesn't matter where you come from, because you can come from anywhere and make something out of yourself. My favorite story to tell people is, and I'll just simplify it, I came from the projects here in Barberton, and, you know, growing up, we were very poor, and look at me now. I have my own store. I made something out of nothing, and if I can do it, you can do it. You just got to have the heart. You got to have the heart. You got to have the drive. You got to have the determination, and you just got to work. You got to work. You got to work. You got to work. Work hard at it. Never give up, and you can make it work. But the one thing you always want to do is always be honest, always be true, always appreciate your customers, and you will get the best following ever. I have the best following ever at my store, 
You could go anywhere around this town or outside this town, and you will never hear one person say one thing bad about my store or myself. And that's an honor to have that going around and for people to feel that way about the store and myself. So it's always good to be a good person, be good to the people. Do not take advantage of people because a lot of collectible stores around this area and outside of this area, you know, you, you, you go to these places. Now, you guys probably have it too in your areas. You go to these places. These people have known you forever. You sell your stuff. They're giving you nothing for it, and then you find out later on down the line your stuff was worth X amount. This person was smiling in your face the whole time they were offering you nothing for your items. You go in the next day, a couple weeks down the line, let's say they gave you 10 bucks for something. Now they got it marked up to 60, 70, 80, 90 bucks. So make sure you know what your stuff is worth before you go into these places, and make sure you, uh, you know that, make sure you are paying attention to who you're dealing with. Pay attention to their body language, how they react to you every time you go in, because you you will know who a real person is and who isn't. And uh, just stop getting taken. Don't let people take you guys anymore. There's way too many people out here getting over on people, and those are usually the people who are more successful. But at the same time, you know, I'd rather be a person who isn't as successful, but I'd rather be you know, known for doing the right thing instead of taking advantage of people. So I got where I've got by hard work, by reputation, by respect, not because people kept bringing me stuff and I was giving them $5 for it. And then, you know, at the end of the night, they go to bed. I don't even know if they go to bed comfortably knowing that they rip people off, but they probably do. But that's just how it is, you know. But stop dealing with people like that. Deal with the good people. Find, find you somebody who's going to be real, honest, give you a fair price. Uh, even if people don't like the price I give them, I just bust out the phone and show them how I base the price. And they're like, okay, well, nobody ever showed me that. And that, that shows them how, you know, you're a real person and how you're basing your prices. So stop getting taken on by people, uh, do the right thing, not just in collectibles, but in life, be good to people, uh, let people know you love them, be good to the people who love you. Don't ignore people because a lot of people ignore people who are really there for them and loves them and turn their back on them. And the only time they want to get a hold of you is when they need something. Those type of people, you got to you gotta X them people out. X them out your life. Be around people who are supportive of you, people who want to be in your life, be involved, want to see you good, do good. They're not hating in the shadows and all that. Smile in your face. You got to get rid of all those type of people. Keep the good people in your life. As always, I appreciate you guys. Please like and share. Follow me on Facebook, the Added Collectibles and More. Uh, also on Facebook, Collectors of Nostalgic Universe. You can follow me on YouTube, Collectors of Nostalgic Universe. You can follow me on Instagram at the Added Collectibles and More. Google my business, the Added Collectibles and More. If you guys are ever in Barberton, Ohio, stop by, check out your boy store. Let me know who you are if you're from Instagram or YouTube by your screen name so I can shout you out when I do a video. And as always, you guys are awesome. Peace out, players.